Hey guys, welcome to season two, episode seven of Talk It Out. I'm Kayla. Hey guys, I'm Anna. And we just wanted to let you guys know we'll be taking a hiatus during spring break, which is next week. And our next episode will air on March 29th. So for this week's episode, our topic of the week was what your opinions are on toxic masculinity. Let's see what the campus has to say about it. Um, I think it should be abominated. Uh, the world could be certainly better without the different toxic gender roles, like you know how men shouldn't uh, cry. And but yeah, I just think of a, a bunch of insecure men who are probably just running a lot of stuff that, that, that are used to a lot of power and uh, are just treating others that are below them unfairly and using their masculinity, their power, uh, and to do nothing but harm to those that are oppressed. Um, I think guys have like a certain like stereotype where they have to be like strong and they have to um, like assert their masculinity. I think um, what happens like in relationships, what happens in like the workplace, how the ma how males are mainly dominant. Sometimes they use that power over women by like abusing them or like treating them less of a person that they are. I think of growing up in a Hispanic household. So growing up. I was the only girl in my family, even in like extended relatives, so a lot of the burdens were put on me to clean the house, take care of my brothers, be the older sibling, so that's another factor of it. And when I would go back to my family and say, why isn't my brother cleaning his own room, why isn't he washing his own dishes, it's like, you're the girl of the house, you're the woman of the house. So being told out my whole life, it kind of extended into my high school years and then extended into relationships and then I realized I was doing that in my intimate relationships as well like I just felt this need to constantly have this duty to fulfill like to take care of that person beyond what were my actual needs and then feel as though it was okay they weren't taking care of me when I hear toxic masculinity I the first thing that comes to mind is a front um, a hindrance of what the what a man should be or what he wants to make of himself it's kind of like putting a um, a restriction on what you can be based off certain stereotypes and it's really just you know what I mean? like it's not like they're telling them not to like if you're seen as like um, a really strong guy then you're seen as like someone um, with power with power yeah, yeah. because I, I grew up around you know my sisters my mother my aunt a lot of feminine energy you know so I was very in touch with my personal feminine side so when I expressed any feminine aspects or when, when, my, when my friends would be like yo check out that girl and I'd be like okay they would they would call me derogatory words and kind of degrade my masculinity because I wasn't man enough for them so. well I grew up around all girls so I don't know if that I don't abide by certain you know uh, rules that those would be applied to as far as what a man should be. It's kind of revolting that my little brother, he can't cry or show like feminine emotions because they're feminine. Yeah, because anytime any incidents happen with a girl, it, uh, it's always, somehow society always blames it on the girl or like she's wearing short and it's her way of like, you know, she definitely led him on and that's how it happened. So it's okay for guys' side and girls always get to blame even though she's not at fault. What masculine makes you, I kind of embrace everything else about it, if that makes sense. I kind of go against the grain with a lot of things, but I don't think it makes me less of a man. I feel like it makes me more of a man.